Yeah. You talked about, I had watched one of your um, older interviews, I think it was from 2018. You talked about in twenty in 2006 being in uh, Delano State Prison and like that was kind of how you got your, uh, your name GB based from like Ghetto Boys and just made it shorter. Yeah, no, that was 2006. 16. 2016? Yeah. Okay, excuse me. 2016, yeah. my fault. Yeah, that was uh, for, yeah, roughly 2016, yeah, in Delano. Yeah. yeah. What, what was, like, uh, that time like being in state prison? Like, how would you say it changed you? Well, that was my second time going to prison. Yeah. Um. So I was a little more used to doing time. Like, I could, I was very familiar with the, with the, uh, the prison program. And, yeah. And, and, and. It's kind of like it's kind of like doing a job. It's like you got to learn. You got to learn how to do time. You feel yeah. me? Otherwise, you know, you you got to survive in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For sure. So by that time, I was already pretty uh, like well seasoned and yeah. doing time. So as far as doing time, it wasn't so difficult. Yeah. You know, as far as my first time, but uh, it was it was. I was trying to find my purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. In there, because I believe like. There's a reason behind everything. You feel right. me? Like everything happens for a reason. So when I was locked up that time, I was in my cell. Like, why did I get locked up this time? Like, I gotta learn something from this. And uh, I was just like, I don't know what the f I can't think of shit. You feel me? But uh, I'm just gonna rap. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna get out there and rap. And, yeah. I mean, that's all I could get from this. So I was just sitting there writing, rapping. You know what I'm saying? Banging on my door, on my, on my bunk. Yeah. Uh, just rapping with other people, you know what I'm saying, busting ciphers and shit, and and that's all I really got from that, honestly. Yeah. I didn't really learn nothing new. So, if you so you started rapping, <clears throat> you you like prior to the so the first time you went to 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 federal prison, how old were you at that point, or how I was like, it was state prison, state <clears throat> prison, like yeah, uh, I was fresh out of high school. Really? I was yeah, I was eighteen. Okay. You was rapping at the time too, but you yeah. weren't as big or what? No. So, okay. so like us, like we didn't have anybody to like teach us anything about anything. You feel me? So I didn't know, like at that time I was just like downloading the beat off YouTube yeah. and rapping, like importing it into, it wasn't even, I didn't think it was Pro Tools. I was putting it in, I was putting some other program, yeah. uh, recording off a stolen laptop yeah. with like a low budget mic. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. And, uh, and I was handing out like CDs and yeah. shit, and, the, and the that <laughs> that alone started. I started popping in the town, yeah, and in the surrounding towns and surrounding cities. But uh, I didn't know anything about like uh, digital platforms or like going to actual studio. I wasn't. I never been to actual studio, yeah, uh, mixing and mastering. I didn't know about any of that, yeah, exclusive rights to beats, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the whole, the whole I didn't know. It. Yeah, back, yeah, I didn't know shit. So, so how did you learn about the business then? This last time I went to prison. Mm. So this last time I went to prison, I was like, you know, I know how to rap, so I'm gonna rap. And then I was actually locked up with a. Uh, when I was in Corcoran, uh, I got a new neighbor, and uh, he instantly started singing slash rapping. Like as soon as, he got it, as soon as he got there, he, like, he just put his bags down and just started banging on the shit. I was like, "What the I'm fuck?" Trying to, I'm trying not to laugh. That's not yeah, a, I was just like, "Yeah." Seem like that's not what somebody. I would, I would think when somebody went to state prison, that's not what they'll be doing when they. Yeah, got he just did that. He was a youngster too. He was like 19, so he was my. I was, I was just, you know, he was my neighbor, so I could hear him. I was like, man, I was like, he, he's, he's getting it, you know. Yeah. So then I was, I just asked him, I was like, what's up? Like, you be, you be, you be going to the studio and shit out there on the streets? And he's like, yeah. He's like, uh, last time I was, uh, in a studio was with Ty Dolla Sign and Wiz Khalifa. So I was like, damn, I was like, you be, do, you be doing it like that? And he's like, yeah. I didn't know whether to believe him or not. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, man. Uh, he's like, I was, uh, so I was telling him, I was like, how you get money out that? And that's when he started breaking down the business royalties, percentages and all that shit. He's like, I was signed to Interscope. And I was like, no shit. He's like, yeah. He's like, I was part of this group called Mindless Behavior. Yeah. I was like, I never heard of them. And he's like, yeah, we were. Uh, I don't know where they're based out. Of, based out of probably L.A. I think. Yeah. But, but uh, he went by uh, Santo August. Yeah. And he gassed, and then he we we just, just chop it up. He gave me a book about the music uh, industry and yeah. how shit works, and I just read that's, it. That's tight. Yeah, and and then that's where I started learning the basics. Yeah. So when I got out, I asked my PO if I could rap, 
and he's like, "Now nah, I already seen it. It says you're you're a gangster rapper." And he's like, "You you have to ask the PO if you yeah, can rap because I didn't want to get violated like a violation." Damn. Yeah. So he's like, "Now nah, you can't. You can't rap." Yeah. He's like, "You can't." <laughs> he's like, "Anything you say would be considered gang related." I was like, "What if I let you screen my music first so you could see?" He's like, "Nah, bro." He's like, "Don't even chance it." He's like, "Just wait till you're off." And then he offered me. He's like, "You could go to this program called the uh, the Geo program, the BI program." take some classes and shit and i could get you off like in a year i was like fuck it run it because that's the only thing i was thinking about i was like, I need to make music you know yeah. so in that meantime in that span like 11 month span i would just spend time on the computer googling how does this work youtube yeah. and uh the proper way to, to distribute a song yeah and they they offer like little step-by-step -step videos yeah. and that's when i learned everything i didn't even know about graphics <laughs> like yeah. nothing nothing i didn't know that's shit crazy. yeah and uh and then I started looking for studios, and then um, I found like a, a little home studio. I started recording in the cuts, and then when I was out, when I was um, when I got off, I went and go picked up all my red clothes from. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't wear no red at the time. Yeah. Picked up all my red clothes. I started tapping in for uh, CD distributions, and I just dropped my first uh, my first tape after that. Yeah. And then once that dropped. I still had no clue. Like everything up until this point has been trial and error for me. Yeah. And then uh, after that, like, I don't know how long after that's when Thizzler tapped in after yeah. that. So I was like, man, like it happened pretty fast. Like, yeah. you know. I, I, I think that's tight. And some the key that you said that stuck with me is um, you said it was trial and error. But I, I personally believe that's the best way to learn something. Right. I feel like when you learn it that way, you know both sides. You know the goods, you know the bad, you know what you didn't like. I feel like. <laughs> Failing is okay. Like it's it's okay to make a mistake. Like yeah, it's yeah, okay yeah. to make a mistake. And and then when it really is like, all right, now I know I'm not gonna do it that way. I know better <laughs> for the next time. Yeah, yeah. I think that's tight. Uh, 